Well, minutes we know can make a huge difference when it comes to stopping a wildfire. This week, there is proof that a new system involving AI is starting to work. 360 degree cameras on top of cell towers watch out for smoke and then they will alert firefighters when it actually picks up some smoke. Your reporter in the mountain, Spencer Wilson, live in Breckenridge tonight. Spencer, it was that system that actually alerted firefighters to a fire over the weekend. Absolutely. It is the first time that they found a real wildfire. They previously found two fake wildfires, which ended up just being legal campfires. But even those false alarms are still helpful. The clearest comparison is the human watchtower, a high point dedicated to 24 seven monitoring for smoke. Now it's based in an AI assisted camera system. The company's founder says if you have two sets of cameras in the same area, they can even work together to triangulate the exact latitude and longitude for firefighters to run to. This is where the real advantage comes. Oftentimes with wildfires can take an hour just trying to figure out your location, figure out your access, figure out all the stuff and then get the troops there. And we know every second counts with wildfires like the Wellington fire this last Sunday where the camera caught it first. It picked it up uh, before the 911s came in, just before the 911s started to come in. Uh, and just before one of our crews noticed it from across the valley. So it's fast. The AI system is checked by a human on the other end before an alert goes out to firefighters. But not all fire smoke is a wildfire. Red, white, and blue fire says even confirming that there is smoke, but that it's not a problem, is still a help. We've also been able to just not dispatch anybody, which is pretty exciting and different for us. Uh, but. Yeah, it, it works both ways. Pano AI says to completely cover all of Colorado's vulnerable spots, they estimate we'd need around 300 of these systems. So about six times what we already have in Colorado right now. But then we could have eyes on all the vulnerable spots where Colorado wildfires might pop off and be able to get to them super quick. Live in Breckenridge, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Seems like such a great idea. I'm glad to see that it's working. Spencer, thank you for your report. Spencer, we know covers stories in communities all across your high country. Recently, that's been stories from Salida to Leadville, Georgetown. If you have a story idea for Spencer, give him a call 303-863-TIPS and you can always reach out through CBSColorado.com.